Let's go over how to use the new calculator in iOS 18. Now, if you've upgraded your iPhone to the latest iOS 18, there are lots of really great features that have been added to the calculator app. I'll walk you through the entire process, but first hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks guys. Now let's open up the calculator app here. And now it might look fairly similar to what you've seen before, but I'll walk you through all of the differences. One really cool difference is previously, it basically limited the number of characters or numbers that you could enter in. It basically, as it filled in the entire screen, it just wouldn't let you do any more. You could always swipe it over to the left and put in landscape more to see more. But now you can just keep typing and you'll be able to see it just basically runs off of the screen. I can swipe over and still see that entire uh, number, even if it's longer or bigger than the screen. That's a really cool feature. Another cool feature is I can say times nine and hit equals. Now let's say divide by two equals. If you want to go back and see those, now it has a memory of all of your equations. At the top left, tap on those three lines, and you'll be able to see the memory of those basically equations or calculations that you made. You can always just tap on them to go back to them. You can always tap on edit as well if you wanted to delete out that memory. Now, some other cool features as well. Let's just hit clear here, and then say we want to type in 1,000. I can tap on the calculator at the bottom left and I can toggle on convert and this will convert a thousand and it will, esti will estimate USD, but I can choose any other thing, an angle, area, data, energy, length. So basically I have an entire different option. So say if I wanted to switch it from 1000 kilometers to let's say miles then I can easily do that and convert anything directly in the calculator, which is a great feature. Another cool feature is you can tap on the calculator and switch over to scientific mode. Let's turn off convert. Now on scientific mode, you can do things like sine, cosine, tangent, you have logs, you have a bunch of different options in terms of more advanced calculations on here if you wanted to do any more advanced calculations. Another great feature is you can tap on the calculator and switch to math notes. This is a brand new option. Essentially, you can tap on the pencil and paper at the bottom right, and this will look similar to a note, but it will solve equations for you. So I can type in 53 divided by two, and it automatically comes up with that specific answer to that equation. I can also, a really cool feature is draw out equations. So tap on the little pencil here and I can say, well, let me go back here. That was a bad five, 53 divided by two. And basically it will detect what that is after I tap on the little equals. So if you type in equals after it, it will detect, okay, that's a 53 over a two and that will equal basically 26 and a half. You can always type in more too. So you can do like two plus two equals, and it'll say four right there. So you can just type in by drawing that specific equation in there and it will automatically calculate what it is and answer that problem for you. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks guys.